Feeling proud of your work? Like a proud dad. <laughs> Through a pandemic, moving a shop, moving my family. It was rough, but we're done. What's up everyone? Corey Hosford here, and we're back for another episode of our 1,000 horsepower, insane Halo Infinite Warthog. Last we left off, we were sending our Warthog and our crew out to our very first commercial shoot. Now that we're back to the shop, it's time to prepare the Warthog for another adventure. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. The Warthog is headed out to New York City, where it will make its live debut appearance at the world premiere of Free Guy. Alex, what did we do? We just got back from a sweet commercial shoot for our Microsoft. Alex got to play dress up. He was Master Chief inside the Warthog, driving. Driving. I was in a costume built for a man that was 6'7". Yeah, it was very uncomfortable, but it was very cool. Now we're back, back in the shop, as you can see. We're taking it apart again. We were so close to the salt water, and this stuff is still raw. We're gonna clean it off. We were literally driving on the beach, so salt water, raw metal, no good. I think our next step, because we have a, another shoot in New York in three weeks. Three weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. So we're gonna finish the interior, get the entertainment system going, get the charging system going. Alex is gonna finish off the painting of the suspension, a couple more trim pieces, on the inside. Just kind of button up some of the trim, make it look even better. Turret. Oh yeah, the turret. Yeah, the turret is the thing that we are not building. We're gonna try to get a, like a, a movie prop company to try to build it for us, because we're really running out of time, and hopefully somebody could build it. But we already have mounting provisions, so we sent them that. They're gonna make that with the mounting provisions, so hopefully we'll just bolt it on, and it'll work, hopefully. Time has finally come. Decided to make our jerry cans from scratch. The jerry cans are really important to the Warthog because it breaks up the black and the greens. So we got this red that's really gonna make the rear end pop. These were our original two options. These were our first ones. These are really, really nice, but they're also really, really heavy and they're a little out of scale. These ones are a little lighter, but these are also dramatically out of scale and they don't really have the right look. So I'm making them from scratch. So these are light enough to just bolt straight to the box here and to the tailgate area. So we don't have to do any kind of giant steel fixtures to hold our heavy gas cans on. We can just make them. These are super light. I'd say these aluminum ones I'm making are about four times lighter than these steel ones. Jerry cans, looking good. Good. And then, the little screen thing for your forward facing camera, because it's hard as hell to see out this thing. Bam. Yo, that looks good. Set this back a little bit. What's left on the inside, CP? I gotta do another one of these on this side, then a trim panel, and then we're gonna 3D print these covers right here. And that's it.
So get this out of my way. We got a PTP. Cool it, Thermotech. Adhesive spray. Got to adhesive spray this bad boy and then we're gonna plop it right on top of Soupy's nice water tank. I'm gonna Spider-Man this real quick. Whoa, dude! Tech thing. It's good. Thermotech, heavy duty adhesive all over it. Look at that. Adhesive spray on a pack of our rubber patents on there now. So, uh, Warthog's, Warthog's done, done. We were doing some finishing touches this whole week. This is the thing that Alex is the most proud of. Oh my God, yes. Can we can we all appreciate the jerry cans made from scratch, please? Look at that detail. I, I, let me tell you, I fought him tooth and nail. Like, man, just put some old jerry cans in here. Just put them on. Oh, they're the wrong size. He wanted jerry cans that were like this big. So you can see we did all the welds with a Miller welder. <laughs> <laughs> I want to drive down Times Square with this thing. I'm gonna go get us some dealer plates in Times Square, and we're driving to Brooklyn to go get some pizza. The Warthog is nearly dialed in, and the boys are ready to make a trek all the way across the country to New York. Now, before we decide to make this big red carpet debut, it's time to make a quick pit stop at AI Design so we can get the last few details put on the car for the big day. Where are we at? What you doing? We at AI Design. They are nice enough to uh, be our base here in New York while we do the final touches on Warthog. How do you know these people? Years and years and years. I used to wash cars here. I swept the floor, washed cars, you know. Welded a few things. <laughs> You all right, Soups? It only took like a 17, 20, 30,000 million hours to program it. It came out okay. This is, uh, Why couldn't you ship it with the uh, dash? Because I was still programming the dash up into Friday night. So, Friday today's what, Monday? Monday, yeah. The premiere is tomorrow, yeah. and you're still, okay. No, it's done now. Good now. Now this is the moment that we've all been waiting for in Hurt and Dan more than anybody. And that's adding on the Halo Infinite Warthog turret. The iconic turret on the back of the Warthog just firing off into the sunset. Just imagine Hurt and Dan all greased up in camouflage war paint, bullet straps across the chest. Well, about that. What we got wasn't exactly the turret that we had in mind. We got a t-shirt cannon. It's not exactly what all the boys had in mind, but uh, you know we'll figure out how to make it work. So that just means our turret dreams will just have to wait another day. But the show must go on, turret or not. So the guys get ready and head down to the world premiere of Free Guy.
How you feeling? I'm great. You feeling proud of your work? Like a proud dad. <laughs> A year, a year, finally, right? You've been in a secret for a year. That's tough. <laughs> While moving a shop, through a pandemic, moving a shop, moving my family, right? Building a new shop, building a. Oh my god, it was rough, but we're done.